Yeah, right. It, it, admittedly, it sounds a little strange, right? Uh, but there's some method behind the madness here. I'm in North Olmsted, Ohio. It's a suburb of Cleveland at a place called the Behavior Clinic. And inside, a couple of dozen dog trainers here for some intensive training. But you see, there are no dogs, right? The reason? Well, the dogs would scare the chickens. Okay, fair enough. Let's all get together and teach a bunch of chickens to walk on balance beams and knock over cups. The question is still, why? Well, it turns out there's good science behind how all animals learn. And if you want to learn that science, your best teacher might just be a chicken. They are the teachers. I'm a facilitator. I keep things going. And what's going on at chicken camp is fine-tuning our observation skills and the split-second timing that's so important to training, regardless of what kind of animal it is. It's not about the assumptions you make about a chicken, because very few people can make assumptions about a chicken. And that may be the biggest lesson here. Forgetting what we assume about any animal, including our own dogs and the labels that we slap on them. Calling this gal stubborn isn't going to make her move any more than calling your dog stubborn is going to make him come when called. But a little bit of patience and some good training will. Mostly, it's a lot of fun too. You might have noticed a lot of people are wearing old t-shirts, like my old Glee t-shirt here, or even smocks or aprons. That's because these girls are super sweet, but they're not really super tidy. Of course, they're great learners. You already saw that, and you can see more of that on my Facebook page. I'm posting uh, pictures and videos from behind the scenes here at Chicken Camp. Just go to facebook.com slash michaelsdogs. And of course, I'm looking forward to getting back and seeing Stella and coming to see you guys in the studio. We'll be answering questions from Facebook and Twitter, maybe even a couple of questions about chickens.